I am beautiful. I am worthy. I am fertile. My fertility goddess. Hello, my Sagittarians. Oh my goodness, I feel like it has been so long since we've been together. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back or welcome if you are new. I am so sorry that it's taken me so long to record another video. I have been so swamped and of course, life has happened. (laughs) So you know what? Since I haven't had the time to do a full-on regular fertility reading video that I usually do, Um, I am just going to do a mini for you, okay? So to give you some insight for your fertility journey during September, okay? As well as um, some things that Spirit may may want you to focus on, okay? It may be um, something that is mental, physical, or emotional for you, okay? Um, As well as a love message. So this month, during the month of September, um, if you do not do not know i do fertility blessings and fertility rituals um, each month based on the new moon and the full moon and for the new moon in virgo i am doing a fertility blessing that is based on um a can a connection a love connection with self okay but it's featuring the goddess aphrodite okay or we're honestly she's the show right (laughs) so um Super excited about that. If you would love to book a fertility blessing with me, the last day to do so will be September 18th. So be sure um, to book that blessing using the link down below. Okay. So, but I say all that to say, I also have a love message for you for this month. Okay. Since we're focusing on love. So the first card that I'm going to pull for, I already shuffled for you guys um, for the month of September for my Sagittarians. Um, And I'm just going to pull from the top of the decks and it's going to be really quick. So the first message that I have for you guys um, is going to be based on growth. Okay. So what kind of growth will you see during the month of September? um in your fertility journey okay so we have trust okay so the first card that came out is trust it says leap into the unknown have faith and move forward believe you will fly okay so i'm feeling like there may be some changes or there may be some things coming in during your fertility journey this month that you are going to need to have full and complete trust in the divine to guide you through okay this is going to be something that you're not familiar with this is going to be something this could even be something that you were like i'm not going to do that <laughs> and this first like uh yes you are because this is a long this is what i'm putting in your path okay Okay, so whatever you come across, okay, remember to carry trust with you. Remember to completely and utterly um, trust in the divine, um, believe in the divine, know that you will fly, know that they will carry you through whatever this may be. Okay, this could be something that is um, deeply emotional. It could be something that is just unknown. Okay, everyone's situation is going to be different. Um, but remember to carry trust along your journey during the month of September. Okay, let's see what else we have here in growth. What else is going to be going on? Okay, so we have possibility in reverse. Okay, so the meaning is still the same. So I'm going to flip it here. It's just really, um, whenever the cards come out in reverse for me, it just really means that this is something that spirit really wants you to take note of. Okay, know that things are possible. Okay, so raise your standards, elevate your expectations, know that you have an unlimited potential. This may be something that you are doubting, okay, and this is why the trust card came out, okay, they go hand in hand, okay, trust that things are possible for you. You do have an unlimited potential, okay, especially because the divine is carrying you through, okay. Look at this um, Pegasus here on the with the trust and look at the possibility pegasus okay the trust pegasus is kind of like wings down not really you know trusting right we're kind of looking down like okay how far is this fall if i fall how far am i going to go down and the possibility um pegasus is more so ready to go right the wings are up leg up and um looking down as well but looking more determined more Um, inspired and motivated to move forward okay Um, look at her tail okay look at our his tail (laughs) on the possibility card we see I see a rainbow here okay 
full of possibility. So you could be trying for your rainbow baby as well. Okay, or it just means blessings are coming your way, but you must trust and you must know that things are possible for you. Okay, so I'm seeing beautiful growth within your journey um, during the month of September for my Sagittarians, okay? So let's see what we have um, focus-wise, okay? Focus on um, any emotions, any um, physical blockages, or any um, mental um, things that you may need to focus on as well, okay? Let's see what we have here. So we have serendipity, okay? So this is more so of being in the right place at the right time, okay? So whatever this is that's coming in that you need to trust, okay, and believe it's and believe impossible, believe it is possible, it is going to bring in so many different opportunities for you during the month of September, okay? Um, you are, if you've been looking for a connection or connecting to someone, you are going to be connecting with that person during this month, okay? Or that situation, if you've been trying to go to a specific doctor or a specific, um, put yourself in a specific place to help with conception, um, you're going to reach that, okay? Serendipity is with you during the month of September, and I absolutely love that, okay? So that just goes hand in hand as well with the possibilities. Know that these possibilities, these opportunities are coming your way during the month of September, okay? Believe, 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 okay? The number eight may be significant to you as well during this month, or the number 17 could be the 17th of September, the 8th of September could have brought something new to your journey as well. Um, or you could have been with someone new, a new connection of some sort, a new place of some sort, okay? So I love that. And now we're gonna move into your love message for the month of September, okay? So we have the Red Lady. I'm not even gonna try to try to pronounce that, okay? Um, we have, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry, <laughs> but we have the red lady and the red lady says, I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. Ooh, I love this. We're not going to dive deep, but I will put the meaning of it in the description box below. Okay. I'm still getting very familiar with these cards. This is a new deck, um, but instantly with I am pure strength. Okay. That really wraps up the trust factor. Okay. When there's something unknown, um, are there any changes that come in and you know, um, you have to embrace them in order to move forward. It really takes strength, right? It takes strength to be able to embrace them and move forward. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. Okay. That is just honoring all of your feelings all of your emotions as sacred, okay? Um, speaking out about what it is that you don't feel comfortable with or what it is you would like a change about or what do you or what you don't like, right? Letting people know. Um, sometimes, like it looks like here, the red lady is crossing her arms, right? And that's what it looks like to me. Um, but um, sometimes we pout, right? We just sit and pout and that's not going to get us anywhere. Okay. So especially if this has something to do with the connection that's coming in, being in the right place at the right time, make sure you use your voice. Okay. Work on, um, your throat chakra this month during September, um, work on your heart center as well so that you can use the courage and strength to speak out and say what you need. Okay. Ask the questions that you need to ask, um, and just, you know, believe, just kind of go in fully, okay, with trust, um, openly, okay, welcoming any connections that may want, spirit may want to lead you to, okay? So I hope that this was very helpful for you during the month of September, my beautiful Sagittarians, okay? Woo, I am so glad I got this done because I have been so busy with personal readings. Um, if you guys would love to book a personal reading, the link is down below as well in the description box. Um, and I am completely open to um, doing a personal reading for you, okay? Um, my The month that I am booking for is listed in the um, on the form as well. So be um, so notice that, <laughs> um, I'll always update and just say what month I'm booking for at that time when you make your, your purchase or make your booking. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys once again, remember to have trust. Okay. And remember to know that everything is possible. Okay. You have an unlimited potential within your fertility journey at this time during the month of September. All right. Bye my Sages.